Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for nitrogen trifluoride. So here we go. Uh, nitrogen trifluoride is going to be NF3. And that's going to give us five valence electrons from the nitrogen plus three fluorines each with seven valence electrons for a total of 26 valence electrons. All right. We can subtract out the largest multiple of eight, which is 24. And that's going to give us two remaining. Divide that by two. It gives you one non-bonding pair. And since 24 is equal to 8 times 3, that means that this is going to be an AX3E1 structure, meaning that there is a central atom surrounded by three peripheral atoms and one non-bonding pair of electrons are on that central atom. Okay? So let's go ahead and draw this structure. We have the nitrogen in the center surrounded by the three fluorines. We can go ahead and single bond all of the fluorines to the nitrogen. Okay, and now we also have to put on this non-bonding pair of electrons to the central atom, so this nitrogen here. So let's just throw that non-bonding pair right there. And that's actually going to be our final structure. Now let's go ahead and check the formal charges just to verify. So the formal charge on the nitrogen is going to be the five valence electrons brought in minus the one, two, three bonds, minus one, two non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero, okay? And then the formal charge on each of the fluorines is going to be the seven valence brought in, minus single bond for each fluorine, minus six, two, four, six non-bonding electrons on each fluorine for a formal charge of zero as well, times that by three, Add them all up, it's going to give you a formal charge of zero, which is what we need because this is a neutrally charged compound. All right. Now, in terms of shape, when we have AX3E1, that means this is going to be a trigonal pyramidal shape. Okay. And when we have trigonal pyramidal shapes, that means that the bond angle. is going to be approximately 107 degrees, all right? Um, in terms of hybridization, looking at the central atom here, there's one, two, three, four electron groups or possible bonding sites. So that means you need four orbitals, so sp3 hybrid. 1s, 3ps, so that means four total orbitals for the four electron groups, all right? And because of this non-bonding pair of electrons, that makes this overall a uh, polar compound. All right, that is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.